Hey guys, my name is Octoman and this is part 18 of my turn-based build system tutorial. In the last part we were seeing um, that we have some problems when one of those heroes is going to die and is still active in the selection panel in here. I'm going to demonstrate this one. When the first um, or one of those heroes is going to die or let's say this guy is going to die right now and when he is going to die and the uh, um, yeah the panels is still active, well as you can see it produces a, a failure or an error we didn't mention or I did mention before but we didn't go over right now. So that's what we are going to do in this tutorial. We want to make sure that the GUI is going to update correctly and nothing is duplicating in that GUI panels. Okay, for doing so we just go over into the battle state machine and start with in the enum of the perform action. We want to create three new states because I want also um, earn, able, lose and win state. I want also uh, create one which I call check alive. So type in act, uh, check alive and also a win state and a lose state. Okay, so those states will later on define um, what to do when we are winning or losing. Okay, so let's c scroll down into um, yeah into the perform list or basically in the battle state switch statement, and we will go over and create the the three new states we just created in the enum. So for the first one, which is going to be perform the case perform action dot um, check alive, we want to start and create this one at first. Um, I go over and create this under the perform action uh, state. Basically, it doesn't really matter where you place this one since it will break out through that switch statement anyway, and no matter where it is or what, what position. So we start to write down case. So in case of perform action dot um, check alive, we want to do something, so we type in colon in here, and also we want to make sure that we break the statement at the very end, so I'll leave some space in there. I don't know where that stuff here comes from. Okay, so what we do is we want to check if um, heroes are alive or even um, enemies are alive or basically in the battle itself, so we are going to update the state um, according to that. Also, later on, we want to make sure that we go into that statement after we did something. And I will show you this one in just several minutes. Okay, so let's start with... Uh, what do we want to check is... The first and most important one is... If um, heroes in battle.count is going to be smaller than one... Um, smaller one... Then we want to do something, and what do we want to do is... Well, basically, we want to change the battle state to lose. So we say battle states is going to be equal to perform list uh, perform action the lose. So we are going to the lose statement once we have yeah no heroes in battle anymore. So all of them those um, have died. Okay. So what we also want to do is in the same um, if statement we want to say else if. So we ask for another thing, which is going to be the enemies in battle. So if um, enemies in battle is going to be smaller um, to or smaller than one, then we want to make sure that we change the battle state to lose uh, to win. Ah, uh, yes, to win. So battle state is going to be equal to perform action win like this. Don't forget to add the line. And of course, there will be another else statement, and this else statement uh, will con uh, will, will call a function. Oh, this is wrong in here. And of course, I forgot those uh, curly brackets in here. Okay, so here we will call a function. So, um, we will call a function, which I will just create in a second. Okay, so for this done, we can now call the check alive at any time we want. Basically, only the heroes are going to check if they are alive or not. Um, basically, once the user has done some input and is done with that or, um, basically, when the hero is going to die, then he's going to check for alive. And that's where we're going to call this one. But for now, um, 
yeah, let's uh, point something out in here again. Uh, this is going to be uh, going to lose the game or lose the battle. This is going to be, whoops, win the battle like this. And here we want to call the function. Okay, the so function will basically uh, be something uh, um, out of the hero input done function. We will clamp some informations in here together and um, get rid of some other functions inside. Okay, so what we want to do is I create a new function and I call this one clear attack panel. So this is a panel or basically all panels. We want to clear them and want to make sure that we don't have any double input uh, double input buttons in there because we want to clear everything. The same stuff basically what we have done already in the hero input. So what we do is we take all that stuff and place this or take this one in here but not everything but just something. So we can call this separately from hero input done so we can call this from any other point at any yeah at any time we want. And basically what we want to do is that we want to clear the attack panel function in the else state statement of the check alive uh, one in here of, of the check alive statement. Also what I want to do is after the case of perform action I want to create the other cases. The, uh, the first case is uh, the case of winning so perform since we don't actually create those one, we cannot do anything inside. So what we say is perform action dot and now we can choose lose or win, it doesn't really matter. And of course we say we create those curly brackets and after that we want to make sure that we break out of it. Otherwise we will have trouble later on. So I'm gonna indent this once. And basically I can just copy this, um, yeah, this lines, go in here, gonna intent then once again. And in here I just say it's going to be win. We don't have anything right here, we can basically end or, or place in debug stuff for that uh, for the current moment. Don't forget to save again and go back to the function we were just creating, uh, which is the clear attack panel one. Okay, so now we need to make sure that we call this function also from the hero input done. So copy the name, just a sec. And what we want to do is take some things out of here and place them in the clear tag panel so we can save some lines. What we want to make sure is that we take enemy select panel, gonna um, yeah, cut this one out by control X and place this one in here. Also what I want to make sure is that all other attack button panels like attack panel .select selective is going to be false at that point when we are calling this no matter where we are and no matter if it is already set active um, or not we want to disable this one and the same for the magic panel uh, which is this one we want also set this one to active to be false like this. So every time we call this one, all um, input panels will just go and be inactive. Also, what I want to make sure that every time clear panel is going to get called, we uh, um, just um, cut out the for each we just created in the last part and also take the attack buttons clear and place this one in the clear attack panel too. Like this. So I'm gonna rearrange something in here, just place this uh, um, under my command. Like so. Also what I want to make sure is when I call this function I don't want to do everything with the selector. This is part of the hero input done and will stay in there. We don't do anything inside hero input done anymore so don't forget to save once again. Now uh, what we can now do is when we are calling this one we will disable everything and we clear every button. So what does it mean is we call the function from here, but also we need um, to clear the panel um, when we are in the statement of check live. So what we do is when this is not true and when this is not true, then we just call and clear the attack panel. So if this is not true and this is not true, then this will be true. Okay, for that we are done basically. We don't need to change anything in the hero GUI activate. But what we want to do is we want to go into the hero state machine 
And at the point where we are checking for the hero input or basically resetting the hero input at the almost very last line in the turn state dead function, we want to call or basically check the battle state machine um, and instead of um, taking and making a hero use activate once again, we want to check first um, if we are able to perform anything and if we are alive or not. So what we do is we call perform action dot check alive at first when we are going to die at this point. So we say battle state machine dot uh, battle state machine dot perform action dot check alive. So we uh, set this one to check alive basically. And after we uh, are doing this, um, we will again go over and check the state if we have won or lost. If nothing of that is the case, we want to just make sure that we are clearing off the attack panel. That's what we are going to do. And also, if we are done with that, we have cleared off the panel here. going to rearrange that stuff once again. So when we are done with that, we, then we want to um, change the state um, to hero GI activate. So the hero input state, basically, we want to uh, change this one to activate. So hero input is going to be equal to hero GI. Where is it? Activate. There we go. So we change that after we have cleared the panel. Okay, don't forget to save once again. Um, and if you're unsure, don't forget to press F7 so you can check if there are, are any typos or errors. So let's get back to Unity and test out if everything is going to work right now. Okay, so we don't have any problems in here. I have my second hero uh, turned down the current HP 220 so we can check this one. And yeah, now let's go over and test um, if there is any problem. Oh, yeah, of course, this needs to be enemies in battle dot count. So because otherwise we don't have any number in here. So save this once again, go back to Unity and see if the error persists. There's something else. Oh, of course, it is not hero input. It is a battle states, so we are going to change the battle states and not the hero input in this case. That's why the error happens. So don't forget to save and get back to it. And now we can test this one out. So um, let's see if we are able to um, make it so that the second hero, which is the upper one in my case, is a bit faster than the other. Yeah, there we go. So now what we will do is we will wait. Well, when the hero 2 is going to die, then we are able to see if the input is basically happening and updating correctly. So when this guy is going to... Well, let's wait for just a second or two. So when the second hero is going to die with the next attack... Well, that wasn't enough. He has still 5 HP left. There we go. So now you can see it has um, yeah, cleared off the complete panel and switched off to the other hero with the corresponding attack panels and now I am able to do my attacks with just that one guy and we will never ever again have any duplicate content in that attack panels. So that is basically everything for this part. I hope you enjoyed this one and learned something. Um, and yeah, we were fitting this one. I believe in the next part we are going to make sure that we are able to um, delete or kill the enemies. And of course update those states of them. And depending on that we need to fiddle around with the state machine too. So that's it for that part. I hope you enjoyed this one. Well, I did. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos in the future. Okay, thanks for watching and bye bye.